you would have never seen somebody doing something this stupid and idiotic before social media. Because why? What are they going to get from that? Hey, bitch, and welcome back to me talking about people I hate. Oh, uh, you guys, I'm really happy to be back with another Raleigh Reacts video this weekend. Excuse my voice, I am coming down from um, some sickness. We're back, bitch, and we're back to trash a bitch, as always. If you're unfamiliar with my Raleigh Reacts videos, these are videos that I make reacting to animal abuse, more specifically horse abuse, but it can really be about anything. These are all just submission-based videos by you guys, and as always, these videos are just my opinion, so feel free to leave your opinion in the comments down below. If you would like to send me a video to react to, you can send it to raleighreacts at gmail.com right up there on the screen and in the description down below. Before we get into this video, I want to say a huge, massive thank you to Established Titles for sponsoring this video. As you guys know, I am trying my hardest to make all of my animals a lord or a lady. Establish titles is based on historic Scottish customs where landowners are referred to as layards, lords, or ladies. This is a fun and novel way to help preserve the picturesque woodlands and biodiversity of Scotland. Established titles lets you officially change your name to lord or lady. This means that you can get your name changed on credit cards, plane tickets, etc. Established titles basically sells a one square foot dedicated plot of land in Scotland, which helps with the Scottish woodland conservation efforts. You get a unique plot number, and they also plant a tree with every order. Every single proclamation comes in a framed certificate. You can also take it out of the frame because this one is Lynx and I took it out because I'm gonna be taking it to the barn and hanging it up so everyone knows that he is a Lord. This is definitely something I'm gonna be getting the rest of my family and honestly, Established Titles is one of the best companies I've ever worked with so I highly recommend this. The first 200 people will get their one square foot of land right next to my plot in Scotland. These really do make amazing last minute gifts, so definitely head on over there. You can check out their current sale going on, plus get an additional 10% off. So thank you so much again to Established Titles for sponsoring this video. I love them so, so much, but let's get into it. Whew. Okay. Rescue a pony that has been abused for six years. You know, I think a lot of people who rescue animals really are doing a phenomenal job, but kind of where I draw the line is you see a lot of people that rescue animals just so that way they can post about it on social media and kind of get a pat on the back. I don't really like that because I think it's more noble to rescue animals and not even talk about it at all because you don't need the validation of the public that you're a good person. I think it's better to just be a good person. Hey. Oh, oh, oh.
Okay, I'm I'm not gonna watch this because I mean I kind of have a feeling how it's gonna end. Ugh, ugh. See, stuff like this is why I don't like it when people post rescue videos because these people are kind of just posting this for attention. Oh yeah, let's rescue this horse that's got severely overgrown feet and um, let's get a lot of views and attention online for trimming them in a bad way. There's a lot of things wrong with this video. And the first thing being, why are you filming this? The second thing being that a horse's hoof anatomy is really complex, okay? Horse hooves are composed of tissue, bone, nerves, tendons, and all of these work together to create overall stability throughout the horse's movements and the way that they carry themselves. The internal hoof structures are very complex. There are tons of nerves inside the horse's hoof, and it's very important that when you're dealing with a horse that has severely overgrown feet, that you have a professional do it who knows how to ease back the hoof wall to be able to see where the nerves begin. Because this is the biggest reason why videos like that are really bad. Given the amount of stress that's already been placed on this horse's tendons throughout the last several years that the hooves have been like this, th this is not something that you can just trim all the way back to how they were six years ago and the horse is gonna be fine. The horse's tendons are now very used to walking like this. So this is one of the other reasons why you have to ease the hoof back to get the horse slowly back into a normal shaped hoof, not just for the hoof and the nerve endings, but also for the actual tendons in the leg to be able to strengthen back to walk normally. A lot of farriers would recommend doing this slowly over time, bringing the hoof wall back and back and back slowly to being more normal over time. Now, obviously you can still cut a significant chunk off of the hoof in the very beginning to help the horse walk a little bit more normal, but the, the nerves within the hoof, you don't know where they are because the hoof is severely overgrown. When hooves get like that, they don't stay the normal shape that you would see in a horse's hoof that's well groomed. This horse is obviously in pain because they probably cut some nerves somewhere in the hoof, which again is a really complex structure. You could make a horse lame very easily. Just a really bad idea all around. I think this is just terrible to promote online. If you have a horse that has severely overgrown feet, they need to see a vet and they also need to see a farrier that works with hoof rehabilitation. So that way they can actually appropriately train the hoof back over time to where it's not going to damage the horse, damage their tendons, damage their nerves and their feet. Now obviously that looks like a third world country. I don't know if they had the resources or not, but still it's just people who don't know what they're doing and it's just shitty. <laughs> so when I saddled this horse up this- Isn't this the same guy that I made my video about in my last video who tied the horse down to the uh, cattle? hoof trim thing. So when I saddled this horse up, this dun horse, I was wondering why he's, why is he kind of fading? He's kind of sitting down and stretching out his front leg. And sometimes you have a horse that's got like a pinch somewhere or um, they're just not used to that being sucked up because he's not really broke, he's very new. But then when I got on him and started riding him around, after a few minutes, I kind of discovered there was an issue. That horse, that particular horse is willing to sit down in his hind end and go over backwards if you were to push him or if you allow him to. He's he's Ooh, very bird. tight yeah. and then when yeah. he stops and he won't go, what you know what he's thinking of doing what? is laying down. As soon as they lay down in the back end, oh. if there's a potential to flip over backwards and that saddle hit you, that can be extremely dangerous. I've, only, I've had it happen to me three times in my life Every time I was able to push myself away from the saddle, it, you don't have time to think when those things are happening. You know, I'm sure this guy is a nice guy, but this guy has no idea what he's talking about. Okay, so I've seen this a lot actually with a lot of people who think that horses that are experiencing neuropathic pain are dangerous or they're about to explode or rear over and fall backwards on them, which is just no, that's not gonna happen. So if you notice right here, 
The way that the horse is standing is pretty indicative that there's some sort of nerve that's pinched. Maybe the horse is experiencing some sort of neuropathic pain. This is a pain response. This is not a horse that is getting ready to explode. The way that he's standing is not indicative of him getting ready to rear up and rear backwards. He is very far spread out, which is something that you see a lot of when you have the nerve where the cinch is and it's actually being pinched. You see a lot of horses that behave that way, which is one of the other reasons why he's turning his face around and he's, you know, trying to bite at the cinch. I just think the sad thing is this is clearly a horse that's experiencing some sort of a pain response and it's just kind of shitty to immediately throw everything off as oh, if your horse is acting weird or acting like something's gonna happen, then it's just immediately dangerous. Instead of taking a step back and really assessing the situation to understand what's really going on in the moment. I just love when people dramatize situations to make them worse than they actually are. This horse is not dangerous. This is not a dangerous situation. Um, this person's just an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And again, you know, here we have another person, the second, second Raleigh Reacts video in a row that he's made it onto where he's just been doing stupid shit for attention. <laughs> I mean, not only is that some of the dumbest dancing I've ever seen, no offense, I'm not into it, I'm not here for it, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it if I don't like it, that's just how I feel, but also that's incredibly dangerous, I'm surprised that she didn't die, or that she wasn't trampled, I mean, that's so stupid, I can't believe that she would even want to be put in a situation like that, where she paid somebody to run horses by her for a video, again, just the level that people are willing to go to for a video on TikTok is just insane. It's mind-boggling. It, it's just crazy. She could have died. She could have had serious brain damage, concussions. She could have been trampled, dragged, bit. I don't know. I mean, this is really stupid. Stop doing stupid things around animals, I guess is the only thing I can really say in response to this. I feel like social media is the death of humans. <laughs> I mean, I really do, because I feel like social media encourages people to go out and do really stupid things for views and attention online. You would have never seen somebody doing something this stupid and idiotic before social media. Because why? What are they going to get from that? Whew. Anyway, guys, that is all I had for today's Raleigh Reacts video. Thank you so much for watching this video, and a massive thank you again to Established Titles for sponsoring this. Definitely let me know how you guys felt about any of these videos. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!